Alright, welcome back everybody. You're watching the Premier League. My name is Triumph Amanda. We'll be casting this match between Fnatic Raid Call on the Dire and Zero on the Radiant. Now this is game two in a best of three series. Fnatic currently hold a 1-0 lead. And of course, game number one, a very easy win for Fnatic. They really were not stressed at all. And I'm going to say a very weird, weird and wonderful draft there by Zero. Not exactly wonderful. It kind of got smashed. I really don't think they could have played. They were playing a very defensive turtley lineup against a lineup that could, well, was well equipped to crack them wide open and turn them into turtle soup. As is, so this time around, Zero banned the Chaos Knight. Error, of course, tearing them a new one with the Chaos Knight. Dirge, once again being banned. Fnatic actually banned him last match as well. And for people who have just joined us, within the last month, these two teams, they have clashed twice before, both teams holding a win over each other. So they're tied up one all. This to be the decider within the last month of who's won what. But uh, within the last six days, these teams have actually played within the last six days. It was for the Fnatic, uh, the Raid Call League, actually. And Fnatic won that one as well. So they have won the most recent match. And it looks like they well, they could be set up for a 2-0 sweep here. They really wrecked the three, uh, the previous game. But I think that more comes down to the fact that Zero just got absolutely outdrafted. I really don't know where they were going with that draft. But anyway, continuing on with the bands, we do have a Rubik band as well. Which is wonderful. We'll see Jakira band out here is on top of that. Or we might see Darkseid get picked off again. Now, Zero do have the first pick this time around. So we'll see what they decide to go with. The purpose of left. I think they might have left uh, Darkseer on the board specifically because they want to try and force Fnatic to ban him or they'll get their hands in because Zero have used Darkseer quite a lot in the past. This time around though, Templar Assassin being banned out by Fnatic. And now the first pick for Zero. I really think they were not sure about their draft last match because on the Anti Mage pick, they spent. I think they spent almost all of their reserve time on that one pick. They went down to two seconds almost all at once. It was not a good look, and it really just seems like they spent a lot of time arguing over that third pick there. Regardless, though, the first pick here for Zero. They will snap up that Darks here. Meanwhile, though, Fnatic have a chance to respond. I'm kind of expecting to see a Jakiro get popped out here just because he's really common. Also, Batrider is still available if they want him. They could go for some fairly aggressive early game stuff with the Batrider as well. Definitely viable, especially they want to get aggressive in the early game. And Fnatic have been fairly aggressive. Even when we've seen the pick stuff like Kunker, they get so weirdly aggressive in the early game. Just use Kunker as a nuka more than anything else. To charge around with the boat, as well as uh, to, um, as well as the uh, torrent. Just try and catch people out, set up kills. Uh, they are going to go into the overtime on these first couple of picks. I think they do want to pick up a couple of. Oh, we might actually see Zero pick up the AOEs here. But there we go. Jakira and the Batrider being selected by Fnatic. So they have a very strong soul in the form of Batrider, and there we go, Queen of Pain being picked up, as well as the Shrak. It looks like Zero will be grabbing themselves some AoE here to control, we'll basically just cause some huge teamfight control, because that is definitely what they lacked in the previous game, was teamfight control. They just had nothing to offer in those teamfights. No good AoE, pretty much. And then, of course, uh, sort of a lack on CC as well. They weren't exactly fantastic on CC. In fact, the only AOE, real good AoE they had was mostly in the form of Jakiro. And it really didn't end up working all that well, especially the vis I really don't the visage pick, the anti mage pick did not work out at all. Regardless, though, third pick here for Fnatic. I think they might pick up another. They might even want to grab some of their own AOE. They could use some some counter initiation at the Zarks here, especially because Lina. they get a oh wow okay Lena again. Radiant Looks like we might be seeing fly play Lena once again. The question is who's he going to partner it with? Maybe we'll see something like a Sven. This time around, though, Bounty Hunter being banned out by Zero, making sure they can't get their hands... Uh, Fnatic can't get their hands on him. Of course, Fnatic did play the Bounty Hunter last match extremely well. Very aggressive stuff from him. And, of course, setting up those kills nice. And they're getting rid of some of the... Ooh, okay. Broodmother being taken out as well. They're getting rid of some of the suicide solo here. And run some of the more annoying pushes. As Zero are likely. They could well run that Dark Series solo mid. They have done it before. In fact, the last several games I've seen them play Dark they have run it as a solo mid hero. Which leave, does leave the sign lane open for a Broodmother push. We also have the Night Stalker being banned out as well. No. Disruptor being banned out by Fnatic. Actually, they played a fantastic Disruptor last match. Also, Dino Zero decided to get ban. rid of the Shadow Fiend as well. Now, the fifth and final ban here for Fnatic. They definitely could pick off some supports as well. In fact, Disruptor's gone. They can even try and pick off like the Rubik. Oh, actually, Rubik's already gone as well. 
Never mind. We might even see Fnatic ban the Shadow Demon again. They did ban Shadow Demon last match as well. Of course, Shadow Demon against the uh, well against the burst AOE like Queen of Pain can cause some serious, serious pain on a specific hero. That said, though, Fnatic haven't really picked up. Fnatic probably looking for two primary farmers right now. They've got a suicide in the form of Batrider, unless he's going the solo mid. But I kind of feel he's likely to be in the suicide solo. That or they're going to abandon the lane and probably send it to a jungle instead. Remaining. But I feel like they're looking for a solo mid as well Five as a side lane. So I'm just I, wait a minute. Fnatic could even run Kunker with that. That is, I think that definitely has. They could Reserve well time. pop out another Kunker with Jakira and Lena there, and of course Batrider. Of course, Kunker is fairly aggressive. The final ban, though, Faceless Radiant Void. Pick. Zero could well have run that Faceless Void. Of course, Black farming a Faceless Void in the corner would be really nice, especially if you have, especially if you have Dark Seal, Shrek, Queen of Pain, and another hero to hold off any sort of early game advances there from Fnatic, or even just counter game with TPs. I think Void farming the corner definitely could have been a viable strategy, and as well as the fact he can participate early. With his ult, he can definitely participate early, just set up a few fights there for his teammates Ten to get stuck into. Remaining. Sniper! And Sniper! Okay, so of course, Sniper has definitely been a lot stronger since the last few matches. Apparently, uh, and of course, uh, IG have torn up some of the competition with the Sniper play, so we'll see how Zero run him this time around. How well Black can get involved, because again, Sniper is a hero who can sort of participate early on. He can push on his own, of course, with his, um, he can push on his own with his shrapnel as well. In fact, he can also help out early on with his snipe as well. He's a semi-credible threat in the lane. He's not dead Five useless. I wouldn't say he's as useless as something like, I wouldn't say, I would actually put Void above him in terms of usefulness in the uh, sort of early game team fights, but for pushing and just general annoyance, I think Sniper is definitely a viable pick. Especially since he has picked up on a lot of power. Now the fourth pick here from Nick. Where are they going? Lena's going to... Oh, it's going to be a... T oh, okay. Tiny then. So looking for a tiny carry here. Lena going to be pairing up with Tiny as well as Jakiro. I think this might actually be an offense. It could well be an offensive trial in here. Lena, Jakiro, Tiny. Plenty of stuns. Of course, the, there is the imminent downside of the fact that they need to be aggressive. They need to get kills. And if they don't, things go pear-shaped quickly. As we saw, Zero, they went with an offensive try. And it fell apart fairly quickly. Got picked off. Got knocked around. Enigma. And Enigma being picked up. So, wow, Zero, they've got Dio some nasty team. AoE there. Queen of Pain, Lashrak, Darkseer, Enigma. That's mean stuff there. That's it. Unless, if Enigma, if Enigma doesn't rush... The BKB, of course, they can just have Jakira or oh, Batrider, but I think Jakira is more likely. Jakira just hang back and then get rid of Ice Path, ending when he jumps in for the black hole. And now the fifth and final pick here. I think they're Ten looking for remaining. another solo of some type here. That said, though, they could well try and do dual lanes. I think that's also a possibility, especially since Zero are likely to have a jungler here. They could well try and do dual lanes instead. They could just go for something like uh, Lena, or rather Jakiro and Tiny, then Lena and somebody else in lane. Although actually, maybe Lena and Tiny is possibly a better idea, just because Jakiro doesn't have the best of range. On it. And then Batrider take a solo on his own. And the final pick is going to be Nyx Assassin. This is definitely an interesting choice. Was not expecting Nyx, but another gank heavy lineup from Fnatic. All right, so Fnatic pulling out the fun, all the fun heroes here. Plenty of firepower, and you. <laughs> We sometimes refer to a bit of a noob, noob lineup because you see stun, 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 and stun, and oh, and another stun. Nyx has two on him, so you know what? This could get messy fast, and of course, Nyx is going to have some trouble getting off his ult. So many stuns to catch him out there. There we go. Hanny going to be playing the Nyx Assassin. Tiny playing the Error. Tiny being played by Error. Fly going to be playing Lena. No tail on the Jakiro. And that leaves, okay, Trixie for Batrider. So Trixie will be playing Batrider. Suicide Solo, most likely. That's generally how Trixie plays. For the Dire side, on the other hand, rather, for the Radiant side, rather, we have Kuroki on the Enigma. Black playing Sniper, no surprises. Batter playing Queen of Pain. He'll be taking that solo mid. Alex on the Shrek. And Bambo playing the Dark Seer. Bambo, of course, the Suicide Specialist. It's not your base, Bambo. Where are you going? Fly headed out towards mid. This could well be dual lanes. Tiny going to be backed up there by Jakira. Meanwhile, this is going to be a dual mid. Okay, Nick's actually going for an eco build. This to me says mid. And he may well get, be getting backed up there by Lena for a little while. She may just roam and try to help set up a gang. So there we go. Trixie's suicide in the bottom lane. Pretty stock standard stuff from Trixie. Again, another suicide specialist.
see <laughs> Fly yelling out something in Jewish there. Rather Hebrew, I think we're supposed to be calling. Alex has been cutting down trees, I think. Hang on, wait a minute. What's he cut down? What does he cut down then? Okay, he's cut down a few of those trees to assist him in the pull. So he's going to be planning to pull. The, he's basically he can pull here, pull there, and then pull there. It pretty much denies a lot of experience. Batrider may actually end up struggling. If he gets a couple levels, of course, Batrider can just go and interrupt for the Firefly and let that CS for him. Of course, he's actually. Oh, okay. Batrider actually going to tear down. Absolutely. What is Batrider up to here? All right, Trixie's like, you know, okay, this is what he's doing. He's going to jack the creep wave and drag it off into the jungle there. Mostly he's doing this, it's not to try and kill this wave, or well, he will kill this wave, of course, but mostly this is to get his wave killed. This wave will die, the tower will kill it very quickly, and the creep equilibrium will push up towards his lane. Meanwhile, the mid is going to be that dual mid, though, and Queen of Pain not going to enjoy this. Hany is going to be nuking him down here. Consistently, the mana burn is really going to suck here for Queen of Pain. Meanwhile, top lane, Bambo versus dual lane there. Era going to be backed up there by Nota, although Era probably not going to get that much farm just because we're going to see Bambo in a minute. He's going to start spamming that Iron Shell. Of course, Iron Shell makes it very hard for time to get that farm in. See Hanny struggling with the last hits a little bit there. Spazzing out somewhat. Batrider, though, actually driving back. The Sniper. Pull has been successful this time, though. Queen of Pain, though, has picked up a level in Shadow Strike. I think we'll probably only see one level in Shadow Strike here just because she's going to try and get a burst up fairly early on, as well as the fact that uh, Shadow Strike won't do that much. Even if she starts harassing Lena, she won't really be able to control the lane all that well. Lena's just going to trade hits with her. And this is what I mean. Tiny has to back off because that creep this is burning him down every time he comes in. But here we go. We're going to see an ice path in a sec. Oh, wait, you know, Jakura has actually opened up with Liquid Fire instead. He's picked up the harassment value. I think he realized, all right, I'm probably up against the darks here. Even if I hit him with a level on ice path, it's going to do nothing. Let me just open up the liquid fire for the extra harassment value. I'm on the jungle, Kuroki. Picking up his farm there. Trixie there, uh-oh. He's got the three napalm. He's got the three sticky napalm stacking him. However, unfortunately, he just can't run him down. Alex also coming. At the very least, it's adding extra attack damage there. It's causing a fair amount of damage, but he didn't get what he wants, which is overrun him there with a firefly. Which is sniper just a little bit too quick to get out of the way there, even with the slow on him. It is only a level one sticky napalm though. Once he starts getting a few levels, then it's going to really start slowing him down. Well, Trixie running out of mana regen though. No magic wand there or magic stick there for sniper just yet. Queen of Pain, finding herself a double damage rune. I think she's possibly bottle shuttling. Okay, Golden Roshan Courier. See, Enigma has set the minions up here just to help out Queen of Pain. It's like he's just trying to help out with the denying there. There's the star. We're going to see a mana burn or not. Not bothering just yet. I think he's going to I think he's saving. He's waiting for another stun. If he sees another stun opportunity open up, he's going to gun for a kill. See, there we go. There's, oh, no. Blinks away just in time. Saw the animation. Realized. Kuroki now. Out of mana. I heard the stun there. They get the light struck away. Here comes a dragon slave. A couple more hits. Pops the magic stick. Just in time. Tower, though, gets the kill. First blood. And he dives a little bit just too far. <laughs> Queen of Pain being rewarded with the first blood there. She'll have extra 400 gold or so on the stuns now. And Lena the slow as well. Lena being forced to back up. Throws out a light strike away. Trying to get a revenge kill here. Not going to happen though. As she managed to land that light strike away. Probably would have taken Queen of Pain with her. Unfortunately not managing to get it down. Trixie now has taken a fair amount of damage. Has actually also picked up. A level in flame break already as well. You see the slow being stacked there on Alex. 
Another push up on top of Haste Rune there by Queen of Pain. She's diving in for a kill here on Error. Error now in trouble. There, it's a combo though. Are they going to get a revenge kill? Oh, they're going to get the kill here. They do get the kill there on Queen of Pain. How about now? Bambo diving in after Error. Should be able to get the kill here on Error. Yes, he does burn him down in the end there. No tail charge in. Batrider porting into support. However, it was a little bit too late to get in there. Couldn't have come any faster though, really. We see a surge here for Bambo. Bambo though blocked in. Can't get past. Trixie and no -Tail just stonewalling him here. Ice Path not connecting, however, the auto attacks will finish him in the end. A flame break just to do things as well. Trixie gonna take that kill. So Vada getting a nice kill in mid, unfortunately then giving it away. Charging in a tiny, tiny standing his ground and just wrecking it. But here comes the double stuns there. Can she blink? Oh, one more hit! Queen of Pain just manages to escape. I think that Lena is, oh, Fly is really hitting his level 6 so he can just blast Fatter in the face there with Laguna Blades. See, this is what I mean though by the push here. Sniper busy getting the push happening on this bottom tower. Alex also here with the Edict, almost, almost off cooldown. And Sniper is opening up the what? He is opening up the Shrapnel build. And then one in his uh, range and head in his mini stun as well. And then of course his ultimate just for early potential damage and picking off runners. Dyer's bottom tower is on the attack. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. There we go, there's that snipe coming in. It will pick off the bat rider. Bottom tower also being picked off there, that's what I mean. Early damage from that snipe way too good to give up. Tiny has opened up with tranquil boots. This just to help deal with the harassment there from Darkseer's Iron Shell. Molina finding herself a regen and immediately having it knocked off by something. Possibly ran into some Eidolons. Batrider though. Nope, he hasn't given to this lane. Batrider heading back to the bottom lane. Jakira just going to harass Darks here instead. Arrow though, coming dangerously low. We'll need to watch out for another gank from Queen of Pain. Flame break being tossed out. They will actually catch out. Well, Black, Black now trying to get back. Can he get back in time? Only level 5 though from the Batrider. Should be able to run him down. There's that slow as well from Shrapnel. Alex moving in as well. Should be able to get the stun down in just a second. There's that split Earth. Is he going to go for Edic? Yes, he is. Do we have the mana for another Snipe there? It looks like he's going to run down the Sniper. No, not quite. Sniper will live. He was, I think it was a damn. I think Batrider realized, damn if I do, damn if I don't. If he ran, he would have been Sniped there instead. Darkseed, or rather, he did have the mana there for Snuff before he popped that shrapnel. And if he, well, and as did sleep, he went in like that. He died in the end, but he got close to a kill. So, you know what? Let's just go for that kill regardless. Lena now, Light Strike away, Dragon Slave as well. Mana burn, they get the kill there. My voice. <laughs> Lena not needing to burn her ultimate. Bambo just trying to jack the pool there. Ice Path being thrown out to try and slow things down. Well, let's check the gold shard here. 4k lead here for the Radiance. Zero definitely performing a lot better this match. I think mostly due to the draft just being not as shockingly weird. Meanwhile, though, it looks like they're going to pick off Bambo again. Bambo getting boxed in and cleaned up. Or oh, 3k experience lead for the Radiance as well. That said, though, we've got to remember the mid game is where really where Fnatic are going to shine. They've got the Nyx Assassin. Tiny, of course, once it gets a few levels, a couple of items becomes very scary as well. And of course, Batrider, once he gets that blink and his ultimate, they may well be able to suppress the Sniper. Sniper, though, level 8 now is starting to get that farm happening. Of course, Black, when left alone with farm, is a very a dangerous opponent. Fly there, sitting in mid, getting ready to launch a stun. If Queen of Pain gets too close, she's going to eat an Impaler to the face, although Fly actually back up here. There we go, she blinks forward. Here comes the stun. They get the stun down. Kuroki, though, he's got Black Hole. Here it comes. There's a counterattack with the Black Hole. It will catch out Hanny. Hanny getting hit in the face there by a Sonic Wave. Pops his spikes and backs up. They don't quite get the kill there on Queen of Pain. In the end, the Black Hole kind of wastes there as it looks like Bambo again. Too aggressive. Gets caught out and brought down. Looks like Tiny might be working towards an Alka... Um, might be working towards a hand of Midas in a second as well. Now Batrider taking another run here on Black. It definitely doesn't want to continue though. Alex is moving up behind him once again. <laughs> so 
Yeah, I see how charging boards are slow there. A couple of headshots proc as well. He's going to dive his way into the trees. He's going to try and keep himself safe. As we see the stun there on Alice. The mana burn as well. Lasso, the flaming lasso there as well. Sniper getting copping. The carapace in the face there as well. Starting coming up for three seconds. Although it looks like Nyx is actually running out of mana. Snipes to Batrider. Nyx also losing mana rap uh, losing health rapidly there to the Edict as well as the Snipe. Hanny though, they get the kill in the end. That said, it was only after Sniper gets himself another kill. Potential gank here on mid. Ice Path coming out, catches our Kuroki Fly, trying to get in here. Here comes the light strike away, it lands. Do we have a Laguna Blade? No, we don't. Lena Lackey in the damage on the mana to pull it off. It doesn't matter. Batrider shows up and they get the kill. Jukuro trying to disengage. You see the blink out there from Queen of Pain. Phantom May actually managed to escape. Oh no, Nyx is coming. She's going to go for that route. She's going to get caught out. There's the backstab. The stun. Mana burn as well. Flame break. And Queen of Pain gets knocked out. Wicked barbecue. Assassin now going for the arcane boots. Fairly normal stuff for him. He does have a bit of a bad mana pool for the amount of mana he burns and uses up in a fight. He definitely has a slightly questionable mana pool. Era now going toe to toe with Bambo, not really enjoying the results. I'm sure causing way too much damage. Meanwhile, though, a potential kill here in the bottom lane once again. We've got a snipe coming out. Lena will get picked off. Dragon Slayer gets thrown. Edict, though, as well as the damage there from Sniper will bring him down. Sniper now also back up. Being affected there by Sticky Napalm. In the jungle once again. Tiny going for a kill. Went for a combo there on Darkseer. Darkseer survives to tell the tale. Now, now getting a push here on the mid tower. Apparently a 2k gold lead there to the Radiant. Has dropped down a little bit. Along with a rel e relatively even experience lead as well. The tower goes down though, no, no deny. Wards being thrown out there by Jakiro. Jakiro got some counter wards, got his arcanes as well. Just waiting on this bat rider to get his blink dagger and they can really get rolling. The Shrek now. He's picked up his own wards, gonna be setting them up. Well, Sniper still being left to his own device, which you remember Black is 67 and 15. He has died a couple times, also has picked up his own kills as well. He's 4, 1, and 1. Sire's bottom tower is under attack. So the Radiant team, they want a piece of tiny vacuums in back. There's a combo as well. Kuroki copying that. The stun's coming out. Kuroki now running back. The chain stun's there as well. And the tiny will get knocked out. Same happening in the bottom lane as well. It looks like Fnatic have their own ideas for a three-man gank as well. Said so those sniper is in a much more defensible position. Also grabbing his Yasha now as well. It looks like he's picking up his Manta fairly soon. Someone asking, where is Eternal Envy? I'm pretty sure Eternal Envy is playing on no Tide Hunter with Loader. I don't think he's, I don't think he's a part of uh, Zero here. He's going to steal that camp. Potential gank here from Bambo and Alex once again. Tiny though, sensing danger, going to back up to the jungle. He's actually just going to try and farm the jungle a little bit there. Emerald Batrider possibly being spotted up. They know trouble's coming. In fact, Black is aware trouble's coming. There we go. There's the backstab. Here comes the impale as well. Hanny though. Going to use the mana burn as well. Backing up. Possibly using... Oh, I think he might have used the carapace a little bit too early. However, that said, Sniper is going to be caught out. They will bring him down. Nyx Assassin does manage to escape. Dyer's top tower is under attack. 
Looks like Fnatic are going to trade their tier 1 for a tier 2 up and top. 0 though, going to burn down this tier 2 town. They have the push power, they've got the idol arms, they've got Edict as well. The teleport's coming back to try and save the bottom tower. There's the first one, it's Queen of Pain, she's going to stay hidden for a moment. They're going to try and get the kill here on these two heroes. Macro pie being thrown at they already bring down the Queen of Pain who jumps in there, gets brought down. There we go, we've got the black hole down, but there's no good follow-up as Darkseer, all he does is run for his life. And they get the kill there. Enigma goes down as well, plus the tower kill. Urn being used there to heal up the Batrider. Unfortunately, Queen of Pain jumping straight into that ice path. Not the best of career moves that she made. Illusion. Line out, just stacking the ancients there, getting ready to take them out. Rather, I think he's possibly waiting for Tiny to finish up his Argonims. Once he gets the Argonims finished up, he can just try and chew his way through those ancients, possibly. There we go, Nyx has spotted targets, but he can't really kill them on his own. Might be able to take Kuriki, actually. Kuriki's definitely possible, I think. Does not really have much of my mind. There we go, he's going to gun for Kuriki. The mana burn there as well. Ice path running for good measure. An easy kill. I think he's going to make the Radiant side so very wary about farming the jungle. Tower is under so he's going to push the mid as well here. Should be able to bring this one down. Of course, Jakira actually maxed out. Wow. Liquid fights for the push die. There we go. The wall replica thrown down the back of his wall. Ice path thrown in. Tower was destroyed. Not denied. Bambo trying to get out of there. Can he get brought down? He's going to surge away there. They get the kill on Barrow to advise back. Also, Jakira getting sniped off. Queen of Pain now trying to bring down Lena. Lena's got enough for a spell though. She's in fact just going to choose to teleport out. They get vision there from the shrapnel and bring it down with a scream. You were weak. Hey, for Tiny. Looks like he's going to gun for Alex. Alex throwing down the edict. Down looks like no Tiny. In fact, gunning for Sniper. Sniper though will probably survive here as now Trixie diving in. They get the kill though. Hanny comes from behind. However, Pulse Nova doing so much damage at the moment. Tearing them to shreds, they can't even get the last hit in on him. The track is too tanky at the moment as Enigma also gets killed or a Nick Assassin. Batrider just barely getting out of trouble. See a mech in the works and by Jakira, fairly normal stuff there. Queen of Pain hasn't really tipped her hand as to where she's going. The Shrek probably just going to hold onto that for a little while and decide whether he wants to try and turn it into a bloodstone or not. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. It's down bottom there, sniper. Gonna be left to his own device again, unless they can jump him. Oh, here comes the smoke gank once again. I think they're gunning for sniper for sure. Nyx assassin also rolling up, and he's got level two vendetta ready as well. They're hoping he's gonna push up, but they might just try and dive in here in a second. Let yeah, there we go. The vendetta. They're gonna go for it. It's black about to get caught out here. There we go. They're gonna dive in there. There's the backstab. Here comes the stun. Followed up by an ice path in a second. There it is. Light Kuna Blade as well. He's going to get vacuum back there. Bambo now. Going to give chase. Kuna Paint jumping in as well. And just to get the hit in there off Nyx. Nyx though. His character's on Kuna. Ice path being thrown at no tail now. Trying to teleport out. He should be able to escape. There we go. He does manage to just barely get away. Nyx assassin though has gone for an early blink so this is a mobility Nyx and in fact we've seen this before basically he just goes for mobility items he'll probably pick up a four star next won't bother with stuff like Dagon this is a bit of a pub star item but basically he just wants to get in position he'll use back he'll use the backstab now the vendetta more as an escape an occasional escape mechanism 
And also, he's going to play it in the middle of a fight. Basically, what he's going to do is he's going to blink in, use that to initiate, and because it will give him faster and better positioning, use it to position the impale a little bit better to get multiple heroes with a stun. And then as soon as he pops out, <coughs> he'll pop out the stun, the mana burn, he'll hit his wind walk, fade away from the fight, and Triss trying to avoid getting hit, so he's going to see Annie just try and pick up a kill here. He was actually hoping that uh, Lashrak would try and fight back there. But yeah, he'll fade away in the middle of a fight and then just come back in about five seconds or so and then backstab somebody and just try and pick off stragglers. You saw in that fight though, of course, it does limit his burst power, which means he can't really go around soloing heroes. Don't run a fire flying up in the top lane. Darkseid though, Vanguard done. Also working towards a pipe by the looks of things now as well. The Shrak still not got a whole lot of cash there. Queen of Pain working on his BKB. Enigma has got his blink. See again, Nyx Assassin with the Vendetta on. Oh no, Sniper gonna walk straight into this. There's the backstab again. There's the stun. Chain stun's coming up. And I think that uh, Laguna Blade was slightly unnecessary, but anyway. <laughs> Fortunately, Black going to be losing some ground. They're getting picked up a couple of times in quick succession. You see Black Dolph still 446 GPM, so not really impacting his farm all that much. Let's see what Black's got for items. Still saving up that 1,800 gold in the bank there. Nice part there, and he also going to move in, just trying to nuke down this creep wave as well as Bambo down the blink in, the black hole catching two heroes gets cancelled though! Carapus managing to stop that dead in his tracks here, so I think Eidolons may have triggered that in fact. Asu uh, now into the Firefly, Macro Pie gets sent out, doesn't hit anything though, they pick him off though. They get the Enigma kill. Now the mass force back in the mid to help defend, see a surge coming out there, flame break knocking Bambo further forwards though. Vacuum back on Jakiro. Scream there, and now No Tail taking some damage. Flame break once again. No Tail throwing in a dual threat there. As C Edie get tossed out there by Alex. No Tail now trying to juke around. They will get picked off in the end there. However, they get Sniper again. And now Queen of Pain in danger. Pops the roll. Only hits Hanny though, I think. And now Batrider trying to get the hell out of there. Aaron now looking for a target. Nick's now popping his carapace and running. There's that toss. Where's the stun? Stun's coming up. They get the kill there. fly blinking out of the fight and just using the last of his mana before he left just to nuke down a creep wave a creep camp here just because he could Nick's on another 1200 gold there meanwhile how's Queen of Pain doing still working towards the BKB getting closer and closer tiny with their hands his Midas is done and 3.2k in the bank not quite enough yet He's still about 1k away from the Argonim, so that's what he's going for first. Again, Fnatic just trying to remove that control. Oh, the vacuum up on the high ground there, but there's that last two now. Queen of Pain jumping in. We just see the Macro Pie tossed out as well, not really doing a whole lot. Snipe will finish off the Dragon. I Unfortunately, they get jumped by too many heroes there. This time around, Zero is staying fairly tightly packed together. Nyx is in the top lane. So they're just going to try and push this tier 1 tower still. Uh, there's a port out there, they're going back to mid to defend. There is a bit of a push here from the dire side. On the dire side, second tier Nick's out. 
is the noose being thrown in there, trying to clear off the creep wave though, but here comes the eye. Lance is going to provide a bit of a buffer there. Glyph gets popped by the Dire. Batrunner also popping out the Firefly, the Radiant side going to back off. Sniper though, 2.1k, expecting the Old Nord from him fairly soon. Feel sorry for Kuriki getting caught out again. The Eidolons again triggering that carapace. Now Alex charging in there. He will get the kill there in the end. There looks like they'll get a revenge kill on Nix. Nix are probably not too bothered. It is slowing down any potential BKB on this Enigma, and of course that makes Fnatic's life that much easier. At the same time, though, they do need to keep cleaning up the sniper, who is getting very close to having a Manta style. Queen of Pain though, still working towards the BKB, in fact she almost has it. It's definitely going to make her life a lot easier against Fnatic, they are very nuke reliant at the moment, of course stun oriented as well. Shakira still working on his mech. There's another ancient stack there as well. Nigo again ducking the jokes to continue farming, trying to get this. I assume it's going to be a BKB. I really could use one in Dean again. Lena now picks up a star for his I think a Yules is possibly coming. Yules, you might say one off four star because Yules is, uh, you can use it to take someone out of the fight. Also, defensively, it's also, it, it buys you enough time pretty much to blink, which is the main thing. Shrak though, Lashrak still feeling fairly poor, has done the majority of the warding here of course, he's the primary support, and Nima really hasn't been taking up much of the slack. Same for Darkseid, Darkseid's been focusing on his own items as well. And there is smoke up from the Radiant side, they're going to go after somebody here, although it looks like they're about to lose some heroes, Queen of Pain getting gangbanged there, gets brought down, too many heroes here, they're going to try and go for the core, Tiny slaps it down with a tree, and he's picked up that Arganim Scepter, although right now obviously, Level 3 ult, oh, he's kind of lacking on the attack speed side. I hear a bit of a clash though, Bambo now moving and dodges the ice part. Bambo though, getting caught out by the stuns and impale and avalanche as well. A couple more hits here and he's going to get dropped. There's the pimp slap and tree, down goes Bambo as well. And now somebody's been lassoed on top of that. Oh no, it's Alex, Alex getting caught out, Alex doesn't have enough health. And Fnatic just finding one hero at a time, picking off Queen of Pain, picking off the Shrek getting caught out in his own, picking off Bambo. And it looks like they're actually going to go for an Aegis around now as well. They're going to kill Roshan. Pick up this Aegis for Tiny. Should be a fairly easy Roshan kill here. No response here from the Radiant side. Not that they can, obviously. Even with Black Hole. Maybe with a perfect Black Hole Queen of Pain ultimate, maybe they could do some serious damage, but I don't think it's worth risking. Especially since Tiny has a lot of health this one time. But there we go, a pause there from the Dire side. Fana has picked up his BKB at long last there. Meanwhile, Dice side just going to go over those ancients as well and try and clean up as well, I think. So, just asking me a question over Skype. Send a message asking who's the new player for Zero. Asking, in fact, who's the new stand -in? Of course, it's actually Fatter, who's not a stand in. He's a full member at the moment. If he's a stand in, he'll be stand up. We will be tagged up as stand in. Now let's switch over to net value. See the tiny still ahead of Sniper. That said, I don't think zero out of this by any means. They still have plenty of chance to. They still have plenty of potential to win these team fights. Just the thing is, they haven't really been able to land a full combo effectively. Enigma hasn't really had a good black hole so far. If they can land a black hole, they can win a fight. I think with a fair amount of ease. It just comes down every time they try and force a fight. They having Eurus is picked off initially by the Knicks. 
It's a Queen of Pain or somebody is getting sniped there by Nyx as well as some of his stun buddies. <laughs> they were pushing on mid by 0 0. Now about to get jumped by Fnatic. Nope. Looks like Batrider's caught off to the side away from his team. Needs to be very careful. Tower's getting a push back there. Getting it nuked. The Creep Wave's getting it nuked back. Bamboo Nerd hiding in the trees there. Manta Styles also finished there for the Sniper. And he's just going to use this shrapnel to try and help push this tower. Dyer's tower is under Tiny though, not really participating. In this. Whoa, hang on a minute. Looks like Tiny might actually be going for a heart straight up. Unless he's trying for something crazy like a... Well, no, I don't think he would have gone for a set tank first. That would be really weird. The deny there for on the tower. Unfortunately, Sniper in the island is too slow to get in there for the last hit. Now Zero continuing to push up. Tiny though and Nyx getting ready to jump them. Do we have any counter wards here? I think what well, they really need some detect. Oh yes, they do. <laughs> oh, they're so annoyed at this Nyx that so two of them throw down the wards at the same time. Illusion. Now it looks like Fnatic, they're going to sweep around to the side. Can they find a kill here? Looking through the jungle again for a kill. Looks like they might actually just end up kind of pushing the second tier bottom tower. Although that said, Nyx is busy scouting things out. A quick look for the trees and finding thing though. <clears throat> and here's the push. Meanwhile though, in the... Oh, actually you know those are illusions, never mind. Push here on the die tower. Of course, Tiny just tearing through that tower. Even with his kind of slow attack speed there, the miners helping make up the things. Oh no, here comes the Queen of Bank Cancer. I was about to say, she is about to get picked off. Really did not want to go forward with that. I think she was hoping for Enigma to try and start the fight. Enigma, though, couldn't really find an opening. If he did, he blinked. We probably would have seen defensive carapace thrown up by Nyx. Kuroki just hasn't been able to find these openings for these black holes. Now, another 1k there on Sniper. And there's the Heart of Taras. Respi on Tiny. In fact, he's only about 250 gold away from that. Meanwhile... Illusion is in mid actually pushing all the way up to the base tower. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. And Nyx actually going with the Yules. I thought he was going to go for a four star next, but he decided to go with the Yules. I think mostly just give him another disable. And again, also, because like I said, with a, def with a blink dagger, it's a really strong defensive item. Yules yourself and then just use the blink out when you hit the deck. There we go, they're going to give chase to Nyx, so Nyx now running for his life, he does have the wind walk in 10 seconds though, and it doesn't look like they, well they do actually have a couple of counter wards. There we go, Error now, chewing away on this creep. No, it's definitely going to be a hard to rest there, the rest and it should be getting shipped out in a second, yeah, there we go, it's been picked up, there's the heart, on its way out. Looks like Zero are planning to push the second tier bottom town. Nyx though still scanning around. Still no gem though as far as I can tell. I've been looking around for a gem. Still no gem however. We've got a few heroes like... The likely targets are probably Queen of Pain and the Enigma at this point in time. Back to scene. Hanny. Hanny now getting stunned there. Hanny though should be able to escape. Well, he gets vacuumed back and he's going to pop the carapace there to try to hold them off. Stunning them. Although there we go. There's the self Yules. But he's Blink Dagger. It's... Oh no. He's not going to be able to get away. It's set on cooldown almost immediately. And he's unable to escape. And the counter for teleport here. The push here on mid. They are doing a lot of damage here. Ice path thrown. Catching two heroes. Enigma's caught it. The avalanche goes out. They're going to pick up Enigma. Queen of Pain with a Sonic Wave. However, they lose the Enigma. Enigma fires back. Can he get back into the fight though? Tiny been slow quite badly there. I think it's a Shadow Strike slowing him down. They almost got the tower to stun him from Error. Error still has Black Hole. They throw in the Ice Pass. Can they get the kill? There's a top. They pick him down. Tiny gets the kill on the tower. The toss brings it out. Tiny, another hit. Queen of Pain as well. And now Sniper running for his life. Gets Yules there by Lena. She's going to throw in the Life Strike. Away. The Ice Path as well. They get the kill again. Well, not actually. They get the kill there. Queen of Pain buying back. Sniper buying back. What? Apparently he fought back so fast he revived there on the spot. I don't think that's meant to happen. Um, I may actually want to check the re- I swear to god he bought back on that blood spot there. I may need to double check on that, I didn't think that was possible. Anyway, it looks like Arrow is likely to get taken out by a snipe or not. 
Black decides not to go for it. Could have knocked off the Aegis at the very least. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. See Tiny just healing up like crazy. I almost feel like at this point in time he could ditch the Tranquil Boots and pick up either Travels. Travels are a really good late game. That or he could just go for something to improve his mobility. Even attack speed, like going for Treads now. I feel wouldn't hurt. And the extra 30 attack speed. I mean, when you don't have something like a Wisp to back you up, something like the attack speed from the Treads is always nice. Or he might just, he's got a free slot there. He might even go, you know what, let me just get myself something like an Assault Curious. In fact, he's got 4.6k there. He might as well just get the Assault. He's almost got enough for it. Go, they're going to back up in the tower, getting ready to defend there. Nyx is way out of position. Yeah, she's going to teleport back there. In fact, this is smart. I like the fact he's gone to this particular tower. You see, he's gone to that tower, and now he's going to sneak in. He's going to try and pick somebody off again, rather than just going for the head-on position. But they're throwing down defensive counter wards to watch their backs out. Aaron now actually charging straight at them. His Aegis having worn off. He's picked up that Hyperstone. He's almost got enough. Well, assuming... I mean, this could actually be a Mjolnir if you really want to, though. I feel like you could go with the Assault just for the extra defense against the Sniper. The armor would always be welcome, I think. We'll see what he decides to go for. And Nyx has, in fact, decided not to continue pushing down. Has, in fact, sold his bottle. There we go. Picks up another teleport there. Has decided, you know, this late in the game, I don't need that bottle anymore, and ditches it. Both teams, a bit of a Mexican standoff here. It looks like Hanny's actually just going to keep pressure on this bottom. He's going to try and force Steve back. They pick Error out of position though with a vacuum. Can they finish him off the slow being thrown? But he's so tanky right now. That heart. Ridiculously strong there as they are going to back up. Back inside as it looks like Batrider going over time there with a the sticky napalm as Hanny continues to push this wave. Trying to force the pause. And there we go. The right inside are porting back right about now. Back off there. Uh oh, Alex about to get caught out there as he yields to open things up. Here comes the stun as well, catching him out. Flame break on top of that mana burn. Easy kill there. Tiny gonna grab that one. Of course, kind of only a small pick off here, of course. The Shrek is the kind of squishy support. Tends to die fairly quickly in fights anyway. And I think Fnatic, they're gonna be fairly careful here. They're gonna play fairly defensive. Roshan is up fairly soon. I think they're just gonna keep trying to snipe people, keep ganking here and there. They're gonna wait for that Roshan to come up, pick up another Aegis, and then make another run on another Rax. There we go, they're already pinging it right now. See, Batrider has picked up a pipe. Yep, there we go, pipe of insight. The recipe's done, he'll be shipping that out now. Tiny's assault is finished. With 30 armor and the 3.6k health he's got, he's going to be so hard to bring down. Sniper right now, he's got some nice... Like, he just doesn't have the damage. Even with the illusions, even with the headshot damage, it's just not enough to chew through Tiny right now. Really, if you can get another damage item, though, then he'll have a good shot at it. But as it is for right now, Tiny has way too much armor, way too much health. Looks like, yeah, Fnatic, they're happy just to camp here, and they're just going to wait for this Aegis to pop up. They're not going to be up very soon. Supporting me, picked up Lena, has opened up the BKB. In fact, BKB is one of those things that almost anybody can utilize it towards late game. In fact, Batrider could even use one if he can find the cash for it. If this game does drag out. Let's see if anybody's picked up any more items. Queen of Pain still fairly under farm. You see that the farm level tiny is just so much better farm here at the moment. 20,000 gold. Closest behind him is 11,000 net worth. Tiny, I think. Did he actually break this? He did actually break down his boots. Here we go. He also sold his Midas to make room. I think he's probably shipping out treads. Yes, he is. He's shipping out treads to make up for the loss in attack speed from the Midas being sold. 
And the Midas is now being turned into this Aegis now. There we go. Aegis being picked up. So they are going to push the bottom lane now. This is probably going to force the final confrontation, I think. No tell. Trying to catch up with his team there. In fact, I think he's just going to nuke down the mid wave. Sniper. <laughs> so desperate for money is sniping creep. Four staff there on Takura. Now giving him a little bit of mobility. Of course, also giving Tiny a little bit of mobility as well. Long four staffs always useful in that respect. And here we go. Here comes the push. I think they're going to be happy to base race here. Zero, they don't really have much of a choice here. They have to fall back because if they go for a base race, Tiny is going to wreck buildings much faster than they can hope to. Even with the combined battles of the Shrek and the Idol, I think Tiny is just going to tear through these buildings so much faster. Here we go, Tiny leading the way. See this tower just drop. Rest of the team holding it back. We do have an invisible Bambo though. There we go, the sun gets thrown out. Lashrak about to get picked off, comboed and pimp slapped down by that tree. The baseball bat taking it to your face. Bambo though, still looking for an opening. He's waiting for these guys to group up a little bit. There's the wall of replica. Only getting tiny. Eyes path doesn't manage to get anybody else in that. Meanwhile, the rest of his team's coming in. And they will pick him off fairly easy. They take out the Enigma. Enigma fires back though. Enigma's back in the second. Darkseid so trying to disengage. Here comes a black hole catching all of them. Catches all the heroes, but there's no final low up. And unfortunately, Lena now is going to come in from the side. They get the kill there. Tiny's still up here. Doesn't really care if he dies. He's got the Aegis. They pick off Queen of Pain. Sniper fires back. And there's the GG. And Fnatic take this. A 2 0 sweep. I'm going to say though, Zero definitely putting up a much better fighting game too. It really looked like they had a shot, just unfortunately, during that mid-game, once Nyx hit his stride, had set up those ganks 24-7, just picking up heroes non-stop. I think the confusion it was causing, I'm going to say this much for Zero, I don't think they are as coordinated as they could be. Obviously, new roster, new lineup, they've had a few new players, they've had a new player up there. They had some changes, you know, shuffling of the deck chair, so they're not going to be at peak capacity. And Fnatic, with a very messy, aggressive lineup, just tearing them apart. And it really just came out every time. Zero were looking to cause a team fight. You see, Nyx was picking somebody off. Somebody, Nyx and somebody else, they were picking up a hero. Queen of Pain would get sniped. Kuriki would get sniped. Somebody would get knocked out, and they wouldn't have their full fight. Couldn't force that fight, and it just went downhill from there. Anyway, guys, this has been Trumpet Man casting the Premier League Season 3. This has been Fnatic versus Zero. Fnatic taking this in a 2-0 victory. Now, I will have an interview with somebody from Fnatic coming up in about five minutes, so stay tuned for that. We will ask them a few things. As well as, I really want to talk to somebody about the Nyx Assassin pick, definitely. Slightly different, as well as what they thought about the, uh, the questionable draft there. The questionable draft in Game 1 from Zero. But anyway, we're back in a few minutes with that interview.